What's up guys to Dan Studios? Um first of all I'm gonna um welcome you guys back for another amazing video because not gonna lie there's so much like stuff I laugh at when I'm scrolling through dating profiles. Like there's a lot of comedy gold. And so I wanted to share some of the, the th some of the options that you know on the online world presents to me. So we're gonna get right into it. I have my phone here. Um we're gonna see what we got. But honestly I've been good. Um a lot of you guys have been asking how I've been. I got a nice haircut, you know what I mean? I feel good. Next week I have a lot of travel videos coming up. I'm very excited for that. Like we're going to um Disney World, which is amazing, very exciting. And basically, I'm gonna save the other video because I'm taking, I'm going to two different places. The other video, I'm gonna save that for later. That's gonna be a surprise. But let's just say it's gonna be my first time going there. Um, so let's get right into the video. Let's see. So I'm not gonna show anyone's faces because I want to protect um people. But I'm basically gonna just be talking about um what I noticed about people's profiles. So. Not gonna lie, this girl right here, she seems normal. Not gonna, I'll, I'll give her a like. She's normal enough. I know the best spot in town for vodka pizza. I didn't even know that was a thing. Okay. Vodka pizza. I mean, she's cute. Don't get me wrong. But I can give her a like. What the heck? I, I feel generous today. I like how like on dating, like giving someone a like is like you're doing them a favor. Like it's really not. Like you're just literally hitting one button. But I don't know. Okay, so this girl has stickers all over her first profile picture. So, I don't know why people do this. I think they troll or they just think it's funny. Basically, like, they'll make their profile picture, like, the worst picture ever. And I feel like it's because, like, they were drunk at a party and their friends were like, hey, let's just make the worst profile picture and see if you're going to get any likes. Because a lot of the profile pictures, I'm like, come on. Like, they'll show their feet. They won't show their face. Like, they'll be doing silly poses. And I'm just like, why are you wasting my time? Because the more people that do that is the less likely people are going to find the right connection. And it is very possible to find the right connection online. Especially nowadays, it's more relevant with COVID going on. A lot of people are not as social as they were. A lot of people are just not meant to be social as like in the dating scene. So dating, the dating apps, I have no problem with that. In the beginning, I was like, I'm not going to really go to a dating app because it's a waste of time. But then I learned that it's really not. Like it's really about, it's, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of like, um, there's a lot of filtering you have to do. There's a lot of garbage you have to go through. In terms of like apps and them paying you and you paying money to the apps. But once you actually know how to use it, it can be a great, your greatest tool, your greatest asset. So this girl with the stickers all over her face. I mean, she's cute. Yeah, this girl, she's she's cute, but she's not my type. If you're not my type, I'm not going to waste time. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep it pushing. Let's see what else. So I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. A cat once locked me out of a house. Mangoes are my favorite food. So, let me give you girls some advice. Like, and maybe, I don't know if this is just me, but this is my advice. When it comes to dating profiles, please don't talk about cats. Like, anytime we think of, like, girls and cats, most people associate, like, old grandmas. Like, it basically says, it basically says that you don't, you're not a person that really has a, a social life. Which, there's, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, you can have a cat, but, like, having a cat is not attractive to a guy. Like, when you put a profile out, you want, basically, people to be attracted to your profile, right? Like, yeah, no. Having a cat, that's irrelevant. Mangoes are my favorite food. Me too, so I guess we have one thing in common. She seems like a nice girl. I'm not gonna lie. She's a nice girl. But yeah, not my type. Next. She lives in New York, New York, which that's where I live. Yeah, she's just not, she's just not my type. Games. I geek out on games, anime, art, cosplaying, and memes. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, this is something that, like, a guy like me, so it depends on like the type of guy. Like some guys, they're looking for like girls that obviously they just want to sleep with and that they're attracted to. For me, the point of what I'm looking out of this is really to find someone that I can spend the rest of my life with. As corny as that sounds, I definitely want to find a partner, um, a best friend that I can build a family with. You know what I mean? And really, I don't try to overcomplicate it. Um, yeah, she's cute. I like anime too. I'll give that a like. Painting, going on adventures, listening to podcasts, taking long walks, and eating food. That's basically everything that every human on earth likes to do. But no, that's not bad. Also, like, you want to put something that's different, but you don't want to put something that's so generic. You know what I mean? It's a really hard thing to do description, so I'm not even going to, like, go into hers. It's illegal to own just one 
guinea pig in Switzerland because they get lonely. Like something like that, like Oh, she's really cute. Hmm. I'm gonna have to overlook this. The fact that she just said something corny. I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to save that for later, you know what I mean? So who can really who can really be nice to talk about anything? Obviously you want someone you want a partner that you can talk about anything with, right? Like that's like a guarantee. That's something you should definitely look for. I mean she's cute, I'm not gonna lie, she's really cute. My mantra is be don't try and become. I like that. And honestly, I've never heard that before. Maybe it's obviously I know what she's trying to say. I put it in a different way, but the way that she put it is really good. And I actually like that. It's simple. Um, you can understand it. Yeah, not too complex. It's funny how when you go online, you see how many attractive women there are. Now, I don't know if this is like not real. Like if it's just like a perception of all these women. Because what a lot of women do is that they'll live in New York. Or not a lot of women, sorry. A lot of people, what they do is they come to New York. They come here temporarily. And basically, they create d d dating profiles at the time that they were here. So let's say if they're here now and they're going to leave in a month. They, it, it would say they're from New York, even though they're going back out of town. So that happens a lot. So it's a definitely higher percentage of women on, that you see online compared to like actual how many women are in town to stay and meet. And I'll tell you one thing. I'm not with long-distance dating, and I'm definitely not with long-distance traveling to date. Uh, some people can do it. I'm not, I don't have the patience. Okay, the next one. I love, if loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. And she put myself. You should love yourself. I think that's the number one thing you need to find in a partner. Like, that's the first thing you should look for is someone that actually loves themselves. Someone that is going to be happy without you, right? Like, you don't want a partner that is going to be depending on you for happiness. That's like the worst mistake a lot of people make. So that's like a good thing. But she's not my type. <laughs> one thing I'll never do again is kayak at night. That sounds horrible. No one should ever kayak at night. Why did you kayak at night? Is that even a thing? The key to my heart is Domino Steak. Stuffed cheesy bread and a frozen mango margarita. I can get with that. Both things are good. She, she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. Now, and I don't know if it's just me and my preferences. I'm pretty sure it's not. But there's a lot of girls that tend to, uh, are not on the, they're like, um, what do you call it? I want to say the politically correct term. They're not overweight, but they're a little bit chubby, right? And so, I don't, like, I would say, like, 80% of them, and I don't know why that is, because I know guys that tell me that they actually really like chubby girls. Like, for me, it's not my type, and maybe it's a thing with, like, there's guys that like chubby girls, but they don't want to have their friends know that, because there's a little shame of that. I never experienced that personally, like, in terms of, like, my friends and, like, me growing up. I mean, chubby girls were always, like, accepted. Like, guys have never made fun of them, per se, but then again, like, have they tried to, like, did they try to wipe them and bag them? I don't think so. So maybe that's what it is, like, I don't know, it's weird um, how the percentage of girls that are chubby are on these apps, and maybe it says something about society, like, I, w I would love to see the data on, like, what is going on with that um, that type of um, woman, because I definitely think it's something where, like, are you just, maybe it's my preferences, <laughs> maybe I just said, hey, um, show me all the chubby girls you got. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to the next one. Some of these, I have to skip through them because they're just, like, super boring and plain. You know what I mean? I'm trying to find, like, the actual gold. You know what I mean? And it's all about luck. Oh, also, what you'll notice is a lot of girls will post just, like, profiles of, like, um, famous porn stars. And it thinks that guys don't know them. No, we know them. Like, you're not real. All right, let's go to the next one. You should leave a comment if you're fun, charming, and adventurous. Listen, I'm all those things, but, like, I don't feel like leaving a comment. My... What makes me happy? Family, friends, going to country concerts, and soccer games. Yeah, that's pretty general. I'm not saying it doesn't have to make you happy. I'm sure it does, but it's not. It doesn't. It doesn't stand out. It's not distinct enough. It's not unique. Another thing that I think dating apps do is that they definitely make you judge more, right? Because when you meet someone, yes, you are judging them based on their appearance, but then actually matching that appearance with their personality, it helps a lot. Like personality is a big part of attraction, especially for women. But, like, when it comes to guys and the way our brains think, it's like, we, like, they, women think that we're just looking at the picture and, like, hitting, like, for me, it's not like that. I really do need to kind of know, like, okay, like, 
Because one of the biggest things that I that I noticed that women do is that they'll make they'll have these actual ideas and perceptions before you actually start dating them. So like you'll go to a nice attractive female's profile, right? And she'll be like, "Oh, um, I believe that a guy should pay for every single date." Like that's for me a turn off because that basically means that you're not willing. Uh, it's it's just saying you're not open minded, right? Like you have certain standards that you believe with. When I'm not saying that's wrong, but I'm saying like for guys and the type of guy that I'm looking, a type of guy that I am that I'm looking for a long term relationship. No, I need some more substance. It's not just about your attractiveness. Maybe it's because I've been in New York City and there's so many attractive women here. Like literally, like there's it's ridiculous the amount of, the amount of attractive women. But to me, when I see them, it's like eh. I I don't know your personality. I don't know if you're a good person. You know what I mean. So, yeah. My I I'm a regular at my library. Got a lot of public spaces and books. I'm sure you'll find someone who um likes reading books. It's just not me. I'll brag about you to my friends if you take me to the house of lasagna. I didn't even know it was a thing. Is that a thing? You're cute though. You are cute. I might go with the house of lasagna. My most controversial option is wait. My most controversial option is Parks and Rec is a better show than The Office. Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know about that. I mean, I love The Office. I'm sorry, but it's obviously the different styles of shows. They're very different styles. So, to each his own. I feel like a dating guru. I'm trying to look for something to date, but I'm like a dating guru. Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Work three jobs. Okay, you work three jobs. That means you're a hard worker. Not gonna lie. Like I appreciate that. But also, like you're a hard worker and you're a hustler. But also, like you you don't really have time for a relationship. So it's it's, it's one of those difficult things. Like did you have to find a guy that's gonna be willing to balance that. By the way, I've only hit like five likes and I skimmed through like thirty people's profiles. So shall we? Typical Sunday: a cup of coffee and a good book in bed. I'm not mad at that. The thing with me, though, is I'm not a home person. Like, I have a nice home, right? Like, don't get me wrong. But I love going outside. I just love being in the actual world of nature. I don't believe that we are uh, meant to spend too many time, too much time at home. Obviously, like, you raise your kids at home. You raise a family at home. But I definitely am more of the going out type. I'm, I'm outgoing, as I should say. I want someone who's trying new foods and traveling to new places. And you have to think I'm funny. Don't waste time. Don't waste, don't want to waste time with hilarious jokes. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to think I'm funny. <laughs> oh my god, I love that confidence, the way she said it. She said, you have to think I'm funny. I'm funny, right? I'm funny. I don't know if they know, the girl, women know this, but like guys and women's um, sens sensibility when it comes to like comedy is very different. Like the things that guys laugh at, a lot of women wouldn't laugh at. Now, there's a lot of, like, crossover, but, you know, like, most guys, they're not going to laugh at your jokes. Like, they, job, guys' job is to be the funny ones, you know what I mean? And so, if you're a funny girl, like, and we laugh, that means you're really funny. Um, but, and, and you can tell what type of laugh it is if we're just figuring to be um, funny or not. But I've met a few funny girls in my life, and it's very rare to find some girls that are actually, like, like naturally funny within the conversation. Right now, like, this, my phone is not showing me any funny dating profiles, to be honest. My simple pleasure, sleeping in, discovering new music, stargazing, art museums, everything I like. You need to put something more unique, because you don't stand out. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, when I did this the other day, they showed me, like, some funny profiles. Like, the profiles that I was seeing, I'm like, bruh, it was insane. Yeah, all these are, like, so generic. It's like a robot wrote these, like... Come on. All right, we're going to refresh one more time and see if we have any gold. My simple pleasure is a French bread and Irish butter. I never had either. We're putting together Ikea furniture. <laughs> Yo, she definitely sounds like a housewife. Yo, she sounds definitely like a housewife. Bro, the next profile was like, I'm looking for someone to build Ikea furniture with. What is it with Ikea furniture? Is that like a thing? I don't want... I don't want to build IKEA furniture with you. I want to go to Hollywood Restoration and pay people to build it. I'm sorry. It's not me being bougie. It's just that I just don't want IKEA furniture in my future home. It looks good, but the quality is not all there. And it comes, when it comes to things like home building, it's all about quality. Okay, now I'm getting to like an IKEA seminar. 
Okay, my simple question is falling asleep to David Ironbird's voice. That's another thing, woman, that you should not do. When you were just when you're talking about yourself, try not to mention any other guys. Like, it's not like guys are like um super super sensitive or jealous or you know what I mean, but like when you mention someone else another guy, it says to us that like it's like me saying, Listen, like, I'm trying to date you, but I'm obsessed with Beyonce. That's basically what Albert is like. We overthink everything. So when you mention another guy, we're like, oh yeah, she's definitely into him. And if she had the chance, she would definitely give him some some cupcakes, you know what I mean? Uh, let me see. All right, let's go to the next one. If loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Potato chips and ice cream. Wait, together? I was going to say, potato chips and ice cream is amazing. But together, uh, I should try it? I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll pass on that one. I think I, I think I know how that would taste. And yeah, I don't want to find out. All right, guys. Right now, everyone's boring. Visiting Iceland in the winter. Travel tips. Oh, yeah, no, Iceland. So I didn't know this, but Iceland is actually um very, like, there's not a lot of ice. It's actually really nice in the in the um, certain seasons. And Greenland is actually where ice is. We always learn that in geography is that if you look at a picture of Greenland, there's ice. And if you look at a picture of Iceland, there's green. So, fun fact. But yeah, there's no one that's interesting to me today. Now, give you guys an update. I This girl messaged me. When did she message me? Yeah, I don't know when she messaged me, but apparently I, I didn't get the notification. She's really attractive. And then she texted me, hey there. And then I basically said, hey, I have to say you're beautiful. And also, I didn't see a text. Now, I know that's corny, but this is weird because a lot of girls, even if you match up with them, they'll actually not text you first. So hopefully um, this goes somewhere. I'll get you guys an update. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me in today's video. This was really fun. Even though we didn't find a lot of the girls that, trust me, were giving it up to me like last week in those apps, we're going to keep trying. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.